Geneva after the whole review. This one today is going to be shorter because we're just going to talk about one specific uh, topic that I'm just going to explain you. And welcome back aboard the Range Rover Sport SVR with the noise. Yeah, I hope that you guys can hear it. This 5 liter V8 supercharged, but yeah, everything I've already explained to you on the previous video that I've shoot in near to Neuchâtel in Saint Croix. And today I'm just going to talk to you about because that one is just amazingly bespoke and all the features, all the options in this car are just tremendous. Today the topic is going to be how luxurious this Range Rover Sport SVR is. Not how practical it is and uh, only how luxurious and how uh, cool it is, how daily we can use it because this is a very very massive uh, and huge SUV. Yeah, and also what I think this is also going to be very personal. You cannot be also agree with uh, all my opinions right here today, but I just like to would like to let you know that this is going to be uh, personal to myself and what I mean, what I am thinking about this 2019 Range Rover Sport SVR. So yeah, let's get started with how uh, and also how special is the Range Rover Sport SVR. Uh, starting with one thing that I just in that I am just in love of, in love with it. Today I'm very tired as well. Uh, first thing first, the color of the car is just tremendous. This electric blue, the blue as surreal, is just gorgeous. It's shining. It catch your attention. It's electric. It's powerful, and it's definitely featuring and matching perfectly this Range Rover Sport. Uh, a lot of people are thinking that it's maybe too much or too bling bling or like just too shiny with the silver shiny uh, rims, the 22 inches rims. But this car is very also special and it adds this level of special with this blue as surreal and the whole car is just absolutely matching with all around the blue. The red interior is something special as well. But if this range, if another uh, brand car would be with this color, it's absolutely nothing in common. It's it's going to be horrible, but for the Range Rover, this blue as surreal is absolutely a great matching to this car as well and also what I I just totally love uh, it's all the blue uh, not the blue yeah the black pack as well but the old brand new LEDs the old brand new front and rear LEDs into this car that has been added as well with this all new technology uh, here as well but the some the Range Rover specifics are also the black uh, all the black Range Rover uh, badges new LED matrix lights uh, yeah and the whole grill everything here is giving you the luxury level but more on the inside the outside is more the, this 22 inches rims the very shiny rims and the whole rear actually the shape is very huge and also something that makes the difference with the other SUVs is the two um, walls into the bonnet the rear is also this full exercised with all this uh, LED rear lights but what I would like to compare also today is uh, why this car is also very unique because it's one of the last car that has a 5 liter V8 engine into the car if you take the, the main car concurrence uh, on the same level it's going to be, they all have 4 liter V8 bi turbo engine, like all the Mercedes, like for example, the G Wagon has a 4 liter V8 bi turbo, bi turbo, the old GTs that I've got as well, 
uh, with the Mercedes level. The new Bentley Bentayga has also the 4 liter V8 uh, normal gas or even diesel. I'm not talking to you about the W12 6 liter engine that I got to test it because also the Bentley has just nothing in common with this specific car. Uh, but all the cars uh, have already the 4 liter V8. That one is one of the only one that is keeping this 5 liter uh, V8, it, it's a supercharged actually on the same way. Uh, however, also there's the Rolls Royce Collinan that has a 6.75 liter uh, V12 engine, but this is also another category. But about the Range Rover on the same level, even the Porsche Cayenne, they also have the full liter uh, engines as well. And this is why also the about the engine and it has been upgraded since the last version from the 550 horsepower to the 575 horsepower that this car has uh, right now and this is also something very special to me um, about the price this is also very important um, this Range Rover Sport is actually now the, pr the, the price of the car that I am testing right now uh, it has around 30,000 Swiss francs of options but in comparing with uh, it's like around 150 of the, of the base price for the SVR but taking the other cars that are more or less on the same level, the ones that I've just told you before, uh, the maybe the Porsche, the BMW as well, the X5, the MX5, um, Mercedes, all the GLEs, the 63S version, or even the GLC, 63S version, this car is just like on the middle of the price, because for example, you'd like to take the Porsche Cayenne Turbo, it's straight away 200,000 francs and this is uh, like tremendously a lot Rolls-Royce I don't even told you uh, Mercedes is also 170 180,000 Swiss francs but uh, it's this for me this Range Rover is also on the main category and is fitting right in the middle also even about the price so this is also uh, something very important to take in consideration as well and something else about the interior how the quality is about the interior because like once I've got the R6 and I've been shocked because the R6 and uh, I've got the plastic dashboard uh, that was pretty shocked to me and because if you pay a that amount of money you'd like to get some quality inside of the car as well and here I have also the leather quality with all like uh, with the SVR badges right here and the inside of the car is very mm, highly uh, done because you also pay a huge price like this this car is 178,000 Swiss francs so what makes really a lot for uh, the car but I would like to say also that it's really worth it because you have like so many details featured into this car uh, like the old stitching the black and red interior uh, that everything is like perfectly matching with the inside and the exterior the whole carbon touches that you can find on the doors even here in the middle console the gear selector fully in red with some red stitchings as well and I'm fully in love with this car and you also have the Meridian sound system but what I would love to say also, the back is perfectly uh, done on the same um, features that on the front. But I'm just in love with these special and actually these bucket seats uh, that are just like even comfortable for long journeys. This is also another car that is perfectly for long journeys and comfortable on the same time, which is very important uh, too. So yeah, SVR badge right here. And for personal opinion, because I've already driven this car uh, already 400 kilometers right now, since that I've got it. And 
this is the greatest uh, part of the car, but even the, the fuel consumption is really a lot. The car is just massive. You just feel very safe in this car and you can drive and drive and drive and you're not going to bored of driving or you're going to have some uh, back pains or something like this. Yeah, I'm really in love with this car and the comparison about the previous generation that I've got as well two years ago is also this whole entertainment system aboard it. So yeah, this car is very luxurious, very highly equipped from the outside to the inside. And yeah, this is all my personal opinion. So yeah, uh, I really hope that you guys appreciate it. Don't forget to also follow me on Instagram, what I would love also to share all these uh, pictures, all the behind the scenes, all the stories that I can do uh, in some events, etc. that I cannot um, also do a lot of uh, vlogs or a lot of videos about it. So it would, be, it would make me very uh, pleasure as well. So yeah. I really hope that you appreciated this uh, shorter video comparing to the last time and I hope that you guys really love the car because it's very raw and very special. So yeah, don't forget to leave a like, hit the subscribe button and I wish you to have a very great day and see you to the next time. Bye!